Hi, and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Tinker. Today we are going to work on Proxmox VE integration. We'll start in 10 seconds. Proxmox VE is open source server virtualization environment, similar to some other environments, but Proxmox is also very popular with home users. I myself am running Proxmox on small, very old PC with limited CPU and memory on disk also for all my recordings and testing. I use it to host two machines. As you can see here, one is HSIO version or supervised version, how it's also known, and the other one is HR Core. This allows me to test my setup on both HSIO version and also on Home Assistant Core or Docker version. If you are looking for this integration, then you probably are using it. If you are not using it, you can check various YouTube videos and web pages related to installation and use of Proxbox. Proxmox sensor allows you to track the status of your virtualization machines or containers. There is a difference between the virtual machine and container. I will not be going into it. I myself am not using containers. I'm just using VMs or virtual machines. As you can see here, I have two of them. Let's now proceed with the integration of Proxmox VE sensor. Before we go to Home Assistant, first thing that we have to do is we have to fix or create Proxbox user that will be used by Home Assistant. In order to do that, let's go to Data Center, Permissions, and we have to create a new role. As you can see, I already have one role created for Home Assistant, but I will repeat this process so you can follow it. Let's press Create. Let's give it a name. I will be calling it HA sensor and let's select privileges. The only privilege you need to have enabled for this user is VM audit. Please bear in mind that adding other privileges may enable this user to manipulate other settings. And if this user is hijacked, it can compromise your system. So please leave this at VM.audit. Let's press create. Next thing that we have to do, now that we have created a role, we have to create a user. Make sure that you are on Data Center, Permissions, and go to Users. Here we will create a new user. Let's click Add. Let's give it a name. Let's call it HA Sensor. There are two types of authentication. Default authentication when you install is Linux spam, but for this user, we will be using Proxmox VE authentication server. Put here password. It has to be secure. Make sure that enable is ticked. Expire is set to never. And let's click add. So now we have a new user, HA sensor, in Realm PVE, enabled, never going to expire. Next thing that we have to do is make sure you're in data center, in permissions, and we will click here add user permission. We have to select path. This is a root path. We have to select user. We created HA sensor and we have to select role. This is the role that we created previously. HA sensor. Propagate has to be checked and let's click add. At this point, we have created a new role, a new user, and we attached this role to this user with selected path. Now it's time to go back to Home Assistant. In Home Assistant, go to Visual Studio Code or whatever text editor you are using to edit your configuration. Make sure you are in a configuration YAML file, as this is the file where we will create this integration. Let's name this integration. 
rocks mox pe first thing that we have to do is we have to declare this integration this is done by using proxmox ve next thing that we have to do is we have to define the host uh, i haven't tested it because i do not have more than one proxmox environment but based on those settings it is possible to control more than one proxmox let's specify the host host should be ip address of your proxmox server but you can also use secrets file and declare this variable inside your secrets file i always recommend using secrets file where you can so let's type here secret prox ip don't forget to declare prox ip your ip address next thing that we have to specify is username once again i will be using secrets prox user and password of course prox pass so main variables are now defined this is ip address username and password if you are using proxmox at home setup and you are using self-signed ssl next thing is mandatory you have to define verify ssl as false let's type it here verify ssl false this way it will not be using a strict validation on ssl certificate it will just try to see if there is ssl certificate available if you have changed your port you can of course specify different port here default port is 8006 if you are using 8006 you do not need this variable next thing that we have to define is realm A realm is used so home assistant knows where to check for the user credentials let's check what we used we used pve as i said there is pam and pve please note that pam is default value meaning that if you are using pam as an authentication realm you do not have to specify it but in our case since we are using pve we do have to specify it so it will be pve so now we have specified ip address username and password we also told system not to verify the ssl and that we are using pve as a realm last thing that we need to do is we have to define nodes that we want to monitor let's go back quickly to the proxmox in proxmox as you can see we have only one node and this node is called proxmox for example if you have a couple of machines you can create a data center and create multiple nodes so each machine is a different node i as i said only am using one machine so this is my data center and main node let's go back to the home assistant and let's name this node or let's call this node it's proxmox so the only node in my system is proxmox next thing that you need to define is virtual machines and containers if you are using them i do not have any container so i will be only specifying virtual machines so vms and here goes the list of vm ids i only have two and they are called 201 and 202 let's check again in proxmox as you can see they are named 201 and 202 on node proxmox if you do have containers what you would do you would just declare here containers and list them the same way you are listing virtual machines that's it let me remove containers because yeah i'm not using them make sure that you have saved your file 
make sure you have the client secrets for the Proxmox IP, Proxmox user and Proxmox password. Of course, you do not need to use secrets file, but I definitely suggest that anywhere you can use that you use it. And last step is, of course, to restart our home assistant. Let's go to configuration, server control, check configuration. And let's press restart. You may be wondering why it's easier to use Proxmox as a virtualization platform and then installing virtual machines on that. There are a bunch of reasons. First thing that you definitely need to know is why there exists virtualization platform. If you look at the normal data center where we have servers, typical workload before virtualization was somewhere between I don't know, 10, 15, 20%, meaning that there were a lot of machines idling. And if you combined, of course, you cannot do it like that. But if you in theory could combine, you could combine five services from five different servers on one server to max the capacity. Yeah, I know you don't want to max the capacity. But what virtualization allows you, it allows you to put on a single host, on a single physical machine, virtual machines, and to better utilize available resources. Our server is up and running. Let's go to overview. And where can we put that? Let's put it here in Synology. Let's press configure UI, add, and here we can create two new entities or two new sensors for the two virtual machines that we have added now. Let's use entities. Proxmox HA core and Proxmox Hasayo. Let's remove this and let's rename to Proxmox VE without toggle. Let's save. So from now on, what we have here, we have Proxmox binary sensors showing either on or off, depending if the machine is running or not. Let me go to the Proxmox and I will disable the HR core. The machine is going down and the machine has stopped. Here we should now see update to the sensor. As you can see, the Proxmox is now off. What this allows you, this allows you to do real-time monitoring of your virtualization environment, no matter if you are using it for home assistant or for some other critical services. And you can send notifications to your mobile phone, to Discord server, or wherever you have your notification set up. So you get alerted when and if one of the services is disabled. This will, of course, allow you to have better SLA. And if you are having a family, you know what SLA in Home Assistant means. It depends if something is wife certified or not. This is it for this Home Assistant how-to with Bearded Thinker. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future videos. If you have any kind of a comment, you can always find me on the Discord or you can leave comment down in the comment section. Thank you once again for watching. Until the next time, bye bye and have fun.